Hey guys, so we wanna talk about what is the best eating habits, right? Everyone always wants to know what's the best diet, what's the best workout, when's the best time to eat, and the reality is the best thing is the thing that you enjoy the most and the thing that you would do with ease and enjoyment. So if waking up and having breakfast feels like a chore, you don't necessarily have to do it. Because if, if you build your program or results around making yourself have breakfast and you're not gonna do breakfast for the rest of your life, then you're potentially setting yourself up for failure. You may hit a small, like, short-term goal, but that long-term goal is gonna feel impossible. And that's where a lot of people run into trouble is they do something that they don't enjoy for a small duration of time to get, like, you know, really good results, and then they can't keep it up for a long period of time, so they kind of go up and down, back and forth. Uh, and so the thing that works best is the thing that you enjoy the most. So it doesn't mean you have to have breakfast. If that means you're eating a little bit later, great. Uh, two large meals, three meals, six meals, uh, whatever works best for you, your life, your work schedule, all that fun stuff. And then also, like, play with it. Because if you're, you know, when you're hitting your calorie targets, you may have to figure out, like, what is it? Do I want a whole bunch of little meals? Do I just like, you know, uh, a few bigger meals? Do I want, like, calorically dense food? Uh, voluminous food, all that fun stuff. Uh, but there is no right or wrong way in regards to time and frequency and volume at which you consume. No, I mean, he basically hit the nail right on the head. Uh, I know for me, when I, I was doing ER nursing, working 12-hour shifts, it was very difficult trying to fit in six meals throughout that time. And so for me, what worked was having bigger meals. And so that's what we really try and preach is really fit it around your schedule. So if you can't, you know, sit down every two hours and eat a meal, then don't. It's, you're not gonna sustain it, right? Or you're just not going to do it. Or use it as an excuse, like, oh, I was going to, but then I didn't, so like, I ran it out of It was 12 whatever. at night, it was already yeah. 12 one, I didn't get my meal in. But it, it doesn't matter, <laughs> like, uh, our favorite probably, or one of my favorite analogies is like, you know, your body is an amazing machine, similar to a car, right? And the amount of calories that, that you need at this given point uh, is the amount of fuel you need for the day. And so if you think about how much fuel your car needs for a trip, it doesn't matter if you stop at every single gas station along the way and put a little bit in, or if you gas up before you leave the house and you make it you know, the entire day. And so it's just a matter of like how frequently you wanna do it. As long as you are putting the appropriate amount of fuel into your body, the frequency and the timing is kind of irrelevant.